Hey guys, it's Rami over here and I thought I'd make a video tonight. I'm sorry, I'm in this hotel and here I am standing pretty much under the mini bar or over the mini bar with this lighting. This will have to do because I want to talk about eczema. I had quite a big flare up of eczema on my eye and uh, that was occurring right over here. Um, and it was full on, it flared up so much, it was so red and you know, it really looked like I'd been punched in the face. Um, it was very raw, painful, and um, yeah, it was full on. I'm just gonna run, run through the things that I did. Um, I'm gonna talk about what worked, what definitely didn't work. I'll talk about the methods that I used. And at the end of the day, it's pretty surprising with what actually helps, what helped me in my case. But my doctor prescribed me something called um, Elidel. So this is Elidel. This is a non-steroid cream. Um, it's like the alternative to steroids if you have eczema. Very pricey. This is $90. Okay, $90 for this. I use this um, daily. And um, I honestly barely saw a difference with this in terms of the redness or you know it stung when I put it on and it didn't really help with the discoloration or it didn't really help with you know the actual inflammation so I was very disappointed with um, Elidel uh, to be honest for the price that it is I was expecting more so for me personally Elidel was not a success the next thing that I tried I wanted to you know, go back to nature, as people say. So one of the other remedies that I wanted to try was aloe vera. But long term, it didn't really help me with the discoloration in particular. It did give me that cooling effect, which I really appreciated, um, but it wasn't really doing much for the actual discoloration, for the bright redness. Um, so I would say with, um, you know, aloe vera, I would say it's inconclusive. Maybe it works better for some other people. It wasn't a failure because it did help me with relieving the pain and the tension and discomfort around the eye. Going back to nature once again, I also tried um, chamomile tea. So chamomile tea is known for its you know very gentle properties um, and can be used safely on the eye. So I got some chamomile tea and I would get cotton buds and I'll just kind of put it around my eye like that. Um, I did that for a few days as well, the good old chamomile trick. And much like the aloe vera, it felt very nice. Uh, you know, the chamomile tea would go in my eye and it would actually feel really refreshing and cooling and um, a nice sensation, a nice feeling. Um, but at the end of the day, it didn't really help entirely with the dryness or with the discoloration, which was a big problem for me. Uh, the next thing that I used was Vaseline. So Vaseline um, was okay. I mean, it, it's, um, I mean, it just gave me a greasy feel, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I would put Vaseline before going to sleep. And don't get me wrong, like it was actually um, decent. But the thing is with the Vaseline is it would kind of get all up in your eye and it would shift around and it just didn't feel pleasant. So like aloe vera, chamomile tea felt nice around my eye. Vaseline, not so much. Anyways, I was walking through the um, pharmacy and I was at the skincare area and I found this cream. And what struck me was how um, specific it was. Because again, my eczema was around the eye. Um, so I did want specific kind of treatment, something that was sensitive to use around the eye. And I found this, um, face and eyelid eczema cream by Dermal. $19. So you got this for $19, you got this for $90. This outperformed this by a million, guys. This Dermal product, um, the eyelid cream, was excellent for me. Um, it's an oatmeal based cream, I believe. Yep, so it's oatmeal colloidal. 5% and it's safe to use around the eye. Now, this was good by itself, 100%, but um, before applying this, I would usually just kind of make sure that my eye area was already kind of moist, moisturized or whatever. So I would use this as the only cream, but um, before putting the cream, I would kind of dampen my eyes 
um, with poly tears, so just a dry eye, um, you know, solution. So this is again also absolutely safe to put on the eye. It's simply for dry eyes, poly tears. I'll put two drops, two drops, and then that would kind of like soothe the eye area for me, and also the dampness would go around my eye. I would, I would let that be, and then I'll just get this cream. And I'll put a very thin layer, so a very, very thin layer, you know, just kind of like that. And I'll kind of, you know, place it under the eye area until it all disappeared. And I'll put another thin layer above, just like that. Have a look. See what I mean? That was really, really good. So you put it above and around. And um, what I found with this cream is it relieved the redness. You know, I'd wake up in the morning and it would be a lot better. It would relieve the redness and it was also not as harsh as the other things that I was putting on the eye. So I did my, um, I did my um, test, allergy test. I haven't done one in 15 years. So um, there are three categories that I was actually allergic to. Some grasses, you know, grass, I guess, I was mildly allergic to. Not really a problem. I don't live in the country. I don't, you know, I don't roll around the grass. Um, the other category of things that I was lightly allergic to was cats, dogs, horses, and cows. It's pretty random. I do have a cat, but I'm glad I do not have to sell her because it's only a very low allergy count with the cats. But the third thing was a very high count. So this is the one that's a bit alarming and something I need to look out for was um, house dust. So dust mites and just dust in general, I'm highly allergic to dust. Um, not only that, I'm also highly allergic to German cockroaches. <laughs> what? German cockroaches, but Australian cockroaches are okay. And the most surprising thing that I was very allergic to was soybean. Who would have thought? So. I have soybean products almost every day. It's in so many of your food items and I never thought twice about having soy. I'd have soy sauce all the time in my Asian food. I would sometimes drink soy milk. I would have tofu sometimes. I would have just just soys in a lot of things and cereals and stuff like that. So I was so surprised that I was um, highly allergic to soy, soybean. So what I'm doing now is um, I'm going, I just bought a humid, a, um, what is it? An air purifier for my room. My room collects dust very quickly and the dust clearly is affecting me. So I got an air purifier. I'm gonna be putting that in my room to help with the dust, um, you know, which is a problem. And um, I'm now going to be, you know, not having any soy products when I eat or drink. So I'm going to be very careful in avoiding soy. Guys, that was my advice on how I cleared my eczema. It took in total like 10 days, you know, so it wasn't too long. And um, yeah, give those products a go. You've got nothing to lose, you know, so just try it out. See if it works for you. I really hope that it does um, because it really helped me and now I could go back to my daily life. Thank goodness. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any other tips on how to cure eczema or help your eczema. Um, if you if you use certain products that you swear by, let me know what they are as well. It's good to share this information. All right, guys, peace out. Take care. Lots of love. See you around.